How much money would a man need to make to be able to fund a family of three children and two adults, five people in Northern California? I have not done the math on that, so I don't want to just oh, guess numbers because I haven't done yeah, the math. Just, just, just throw a number out. What do you think? Independently or with the wife bringing in minimum Family 20%. of five, man. He's, he's having to provide for 80%. How much would he need? Two hundred and fifty thousand, I would no, say. Ma no, ma'am. What is it? No, ma'am. In, in in Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, that's three hundred thousand dollars a year. Three fifty, actually. Northern California, you're talking close to about four hundred thousand, half a million. I want a man that's definitely going to be able to pay the bills, like take care of me. But I still want to be able to have the option to work and do like my career, have a career, and still have kids. Okay, so you want it all? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how much money is a man going to need to make to be able to pay all the bills for a family of four? Mm, probably well over 400 Okay. What percentage so, of men in this country make over $400,000? Um, I would say maybe 2 to 4%. Probably not a lot. One. Okay. 1%. So, let's go back to what you said. I feel... Mm -hmm. Men don't care about what you feel. We we think, act, and do. Mm -hmm. Men hit that financial street stride between 45 and 55. Are you prepared to marry a man that's 45 years old or, or older? Uh, no. So you're a delusional black woman. What is a good amount of money to make? Well, yeah. Like I said, it depends on his lifestyle and what okay. they're trying to do. I mean, if someone can make something stretch or what their lifestyle is, then that's good. I asked her point blank. I said, yo, how much a man got to make? She's like, yo, it's not about me. She said, as long as he can sustain himself, you know what I mean? As long as he can take care of himself and his bills and live comfortably, he good. I don't take all you girls out to dinner. I don't give a fuck. I would thing. rather take a girl out to dinner because these guys are obviously not treating them right. Emotional damage. If you're in a controlling I'm relationship, right please come this way. We will teach you how to not be in a controlling right relationship now. and make a lot more money than these dudes that are controlling you. That's mostly run by men, no? Old men, yeah. yes. Usually that should have been so gone a long time ago. Well, tell us about again what we even need men for. I brought my bat. From women. Praying mantis I style. Y'all just I use men for sex, mm -hmm. get their sperm, kill them off. Yeah, I think that's probably the best bet. I, I respectfully disagree. Women need men to survive. Let's say all the men evaporated right now. Within a day or two, the infrastructure would collapse. The power grids, all the all the jobs that keep the world the, the world running the way it is. Women do not work these jobs. And when it comes to survival, you need men. What's the best way to find out a girl's body count? Well, I guess you gotta be friends with her first and let her sell you. Yeah, but we don't do the friend zone. Well, you will never find out because we will be lying. Men don't like women with high body counts? They don't find it attractive? Yeah, that's why we lie. Do you consider like a body count a big thing when going into the dating scene? No. How would you feel like a man pressing you for your body count? Would you answer truthfully? No. Is it high? I don't know. Is it? What do you think is the best way to find a girl's body count? Huh. Don't find out. You might as well not know. Yeah. There's no point of you knowing. Your feelings might get hurt. If you would live life with your body count on your forehead, how would it be different? How would you? How would it be different? I'd be homeless. 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 Why is that? How would you live life if your body count was printed on your forehead? Well, probably I would live in a garbage bin. <laughs> is that it? Is that a wrap? I would be homeless. Yeah, very homeless. I'll be um, homeless. I would, yeah. Shelter? I kind of stopped counting after... After I got to like the 340s. Like the 340s and it was kind of pointless to like keep counting. I'm like, well, you know, like a couple hundred. Emotional damage! You want some therapy?
I think 99% of the world's problems would be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. Because it would prevent, because it would prevent all of the disintegration of morals. It would prevent so many things about the world. But you know what, there's like a lot And women would be like, to be with me as a man, I don't want to put another number on my forehead, you have to be a good man. They wouldn't stop f***ing these idiots and stop being idiots. And all the idiocy would disappear, all the degeneracy would disappear. Families would return. Virgins meeting their first man, staying with him her whole life and being proud of it. Wouldn't, couldn't we go back to such a beautiful age? All we have to do is start putting numbers on girls' foreheads. We could fix everything. Body counts does matter, especially when looking for a long-term relationship. Um, when trying to date someone, high body count is a red flag because the person has probably dated or hook up a lot and probably has an issue with commitment. When I'm looking for a long-term relationship, also um, a lot of mental health disorders, mostly the severe ones, include sexual hypersexuality, impulsivity, risk-taking as a symptom. Also for people with body counts of over 20 or more, with that level of impulsivity and risk-taking, uh, do you really think that that person or who you hardly know was responsible and used protection every single time? Not just um, the pull-out method or birth control, but actually condoms. That there weren't a few um, accidents or scares. I mean, if you just hook up, you do. You, and for your guests who are dating long term distance, is a major red flag, at least for me. All right? This world body count, pos uh, I mean, positivity movement and debate mostly relies on the whole why can men have as much sex and as they want? But women can't argument, but my argument, listen, is not the same. Because women get attached to the sex, but for men, it's only entertainment. Too good in theory, yeah. Mm. But the reality is there's women out there that, you know, they come out on their own TikTok. This isn't the media, music mm. videos, anything. They come out in their own TikToks talking about, I want a guy that has uh, six figures in the bank, six more than six inches, and, you know, six foot in height. And... A lot of these women, bro, they're not even bad bees like that. Yeah, for <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. These are like yeah. extra basic, extra average girls that, and even below that say these things. And this is a this is a common, consistent pattern. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's becoming more think, yeah. and it's becoming more mainstream. Do you get what I'm saying? A lot of world problems would be solved if men just like cease to exist. Yeah. But really, so uh, who's gonna mine the coal since 96% of men work in that industry? And who's gonna drill for oil since 95% of men work in that industry? And who's gonna deliver things nationwide since 91% of men are commercial truck drivers? And who's gonna clean up your garbage since 95% of men work in that industry? And who's gonna construct the buildings since basically 82% of men work in that industry? 86% of police officers are men. 95% of firefighters are men. Listen, I can keep running down the list because the list runs deep. And by the way, those professions that I picked aren't random. Those are the same professions you have to thank for why your streets are clean, for why you're safe, for why you have electricity in your house and gas in your car. Are the checks going to be together or separate? You going to let me hit that tonight? This is our first date. It'll be separate. Is your body count? Can I make it one more? If you want. And, oh, I mean, not today. Um, no. Tomorrow? No. I was just saying that as a joke. I didn't think you'd say yes, so I don't know what I'm going to do now. Um, okay. What is your body count? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually a virgin because I'm Mormon. What? What is your body count? Um, in LA Can I make one more? No, I, I didn't. All right, hold on. Well. You want to know? Sure. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Sorry. So is that a yes or a no for me to make it one more? <laughs> mm, you could like... Y'all just got married, right? Just today. Yes, like four hours ago. Okay. And do you guys know each other's body count? Yes. No. Okay. Oh, body count? No. That's irrelevant. Is it? Yes. Past is the past. F it. Like, this is my future. Are you willing to admit it right now? Nine. Nine? Careful 
of women with very high body counts. Be very careful of women who say that it doesn't matter. If you meet a girl who's 21 who has a body count of 300, sure she fuck you. That sex doesn't mean she cares about you. It doesn't mean she appreciates you. It doesn't mean she respects you. In fact, it's meaningless because it's not you that makes her do it. It's the sex. Do you see where I'm going here? I hope you do. Here's why female body counts matter. A woman with a high body count is not capable of loving you and respecting you as much as a woman with a low body.